So one of the things that you can do in PowerPoint is add in some audio, like music, to play in your presentation when you run the slideshow. This can be music or some other audio you've got. By default, when you add it, it plays on the slide that you've got, but you can also get it to play across multiple slides and also to loop as well. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. And by the way, this works the same way whether you're using Windows or a Mac, except for the bit where you have to find your file. So I'm using Windows here. I'm gonna go into the Insert tab up at the top here. And across on the side here, you'll see there's a media option. Now you might actually see this uh, right here without having to click on this drop down, but you'll see it's got audio. I click on that and it's audio on my PC. You can actually see, if I move that away, that you can record audio. So if you've got a microphone, you can record that. But I've got some music here that I want to use. Let's go to audio on my PC. Here it is, it's called Barley Fields. It's a royalty free piece of music that I use. And I found that on a website called AKM Music and you can Google that. I actually find that they've got a good selection and they're reasonably priced. So let me just click on insert here and you will see that it comes up with this icon that looks like a speaker and I can play it. And there it is. Okay, it doesn't matter where it is on the slide. I'm just gonna move it out of the way here. And at the top here, you'll see it's come up because it's selected on playback. No style is selected at the moment. It plays when you click on it. If I want it to start automatically, when I go to that slide, I would choose automatically. When I run the slideshow, you're going to see that it starts playing. You can see the icon here, and I could also pause it, which could be quite useful if you want to control playing it and you may not want it to start automatically either. So let me just press escape to come out of that. Things that you might want to do if you just want audio running in the background is hide it during the show. So now you won't see it. You can see here there's an option to play across slides and we'll take a look at that in just a moment because if I now run the slideshow, you'll see it starts automatically. When I move to the next slide, it stops. So first up, let's go back to that slide, select our audio, go to playback all the way over on the right here. I'm gonna to get to play across slides and I'm gonna loop until stopped. So stopped is when the slideshow actually finishes. If you wanted it not to loop, you can get it to rewind after playing. You can see now it has actually done this play in background. It's selected. So let me just turn that off. It's no longer done that. If I choose play in background, it ticks all those various bits. One other thing you can add here is the volume. You can actually change it and you can also mute it so you can have it low, medium or high and you may want to try that out to see which one works for you. Let's just play it. By the way, I should be saving this along the way to make sure I don't lose anything. But there you go. Now the audio is playing, you can hear that. If I move to another slide, there you go. It's still playing in the background. This could be nice if you've got some rolling slides before a presentation and you wanna have a presentation that just has some things in it that might just be pleasant for your audience, then there you go. And you'll see when I get to the end of the presentation, it stops. So there you have it. That's how you can add audio in. Be mindful sometimes of if you're using music, whether or not it's copyrighted or not. As I said, I got that from AKM Music. I'm not affiliated to AKM Music. I just happen to find them easy to use and, as I said, with a good selection. So don't forget, you've got the option to get it to start automatically or to play it. You can play it across slides. You can get it to loop over and over until 
you get to the end and you can hide the icon during a show. Or if you want, when it finishes, it just rewinds back to the beginning and then you can just start playing it again when you feel like it. Thanks for watching. Hope you found that useful and see you next time.